In this video I would like to continue our discussion about file system directory traversal and navigation using Java library objects. As you can see in our next assignment handout, which is assignment 7, we need to write JavaFX GUI application asking for user input, validating that it's an existing directory path, and finding the largest file in that directory. I can show you what I have in my test project that I built while working on this assignment handout. Just make sure that you follow the model view controller guidelines, create your GUI, the controller, and the model tier object or objects uh, to store and process the information in the directories. I also want you to validate the directory entry. The path entered by the user should be an existing directory path. For example, if I just click this find largest file, I give the user the warning that this input is required. If it's not an existing directory path, uh, then you can display a warning uh, message in one of the fields on the screen or in a separate message box like I have in my program uh, and ask them to re-enter the correct directory path. For example, if I just type some sort of junk in this field, uh, then uh, click again, it tells me that the path is invalid. I can also try one of the existing directories on my system. Uh, which is currently empty, well, this one here, just copy and paste, OK, and you can see that it tells me that the directory is empty. OK, now we can try one of the non-empty directories, like this one, and I can just uh, copy and paste or enter it manually, so now it finds an XML file of the size, the size I'm showing here is in bytes, I can try to search for even larger file, like going to the next uh, directory up the tree. OK, so it finds another file. And now if I want to, I can uh, go to this uh, subfolder uh, on my system like this and try to locate the file and examine uh, its properties and so forth. In this case, it found this uh, DLL file, which is roughly 60 megabytes in size. So I want you to display the file name containing directory, uh, the size uh, in bytes, and also the date and time of last modification. And uh, it's important that you display the date and time as a local time, not just a raw UTC universal coordinated time returned by the file time structure, as I explained already in my previous video. So here I can verify that uh, my timestamp shown here corresponds to the one uh, shown by the operating system or file manager window. Also, one of the key parts of this assignment um, is to be able to recursively uh, traverse through all nested subdirectories while searching for the largest file. For this, I would like to give you some tips in my next video.